Upon identifying the location of the supposed leader of the Akatsuki, Jiraiya infiltrated the Hidden Rain Village alone. There, he encountered Pain, who appeared to be his former student. Pain was plotting to mass-produce weapons which employed forbidden jutsu powered by the tailed beasts. Although Jiraiya's initial objective had merely been to gather information, he decided he could not leave Pain be. The term Child of Prophecy, which had once been revealed to him, came into his mind. It was said a student of Jiraiya's would bring either peace or destruction to the ninja world. He decided to confront Pain in order to rectify his pupil's errors and thereby thwart the Akatsuki's ambitions. I'll put an end to this miserable world. It's God's work. You are a poison to the world. I will take the responsibility of destroying you. That's the last thing I can do for you as your master. They say the Renegon was sent down from the heavens. A world in chaos. So I believe you guide the world chaos into order. But I was mistaken. The Akatsuki brings chaos now. It seems that something went wrong with your development. <laughs> this world has not grown, but we have, bringing us to this enhanced state. Well, well, listen to you. Oh, no we? matter the sacrifice, I'll keep moving toward true peace. But in order to attain true peace, the world must first know pain. As my students, I believe you grow into good people. I never doubted you use your power to protect me. Goodbye. Pain's power allowed him to revive himself no matter how many times he fell, and so it was Jiraiya who met defeat. Naruto. You never gave up, no matter what. So... As your teacher, I... I must not give up. With his last ounce of strength, Jiraiya left a clue toward the nature of Pain's power. For he believed that Naruto was the child of prophecy who would bring peace to the ninja world. 